Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, she is still alive. Yes, it's been a while. Um, let's put it this way, if I was struggling to keep up with the written blog on YouTube, did not stand a chance in hell. So, uh, but we're back, it's new year and we are trying new things because we have a nice shiny new laptop, thanks to my cousin for helping me out with that. And um, But we don't have a nice shiny new mic, hence the um, the attractive sort of a headphone hanging down for the jumper look so we'll, we'll address that elephant in the room and now we're going to move on with it um so <laughs> i have just done something that possibly everyone is will probably end up doing in their lifetime and that is an online exam and not just an online clicky clap yeah we can use a textbook exam an online proper exam that's really counting towards my medical degree as ultimately it will decide where I rank in my year, even though I now couldn't care less. A couple of weeks ago, it was the biggest thing in my life. Um, so our exams, like most exams, were initially meant to be sat in person. We were meant to do OSCEs as well, which are practical examinations where you kind of pretend you're a doctor for about 10 minutes. And the OSCEs got cancelled in November. And then we were told at the beginning of January that our exams were going to be cancelled because the UK went into lockdown. So we ended up sitting one of the biggest exams of our medical career so far in our living rooms in the slippers, which is very odd and nothing like I would have pictured when I initially applied to do medicine. These exams differ between institutions, they differ between years, etc. And I can only speak on my experience and what I felt. This isn't like a universal guide on e online examinations, but they're new. And I figured I might as well talk about my experiences because at least someone out there might like to know what's going on. Warwick in particular, we had two sort of systems. One of them is called Proctor. And one of them was called Practique. So we took our exam in Practique and we were monitored by Proctor. So what happened is there's a team somewhere in the world that will monitor your computer screen and your laptop screen to make sure that you're not looking at notes or Googling things. Um, they also have another package where you put a mobile phone behind you so they can monitor like your wall where your um laptop is so they can check you haven't got any notes or like no one's under the table we we ended up just having the laptop so they also monitor your microphones and your speakers as well um our actual exam was sat in practique and i had a few issues with practique but we'll get onto that later so the actual proctor system is quite easy to use the only downside is you have to re-download google chrome and um, what actually happens is that you'll run system checks with proctor so it makes sure that your webcam is working, your microphone's working, your speaker's working, um, that it can like access your screen to have a look at it, and that you have to make sure your bandwidth is of an acceptable length that the exam's going to work. And then it sends you a link that you click on on the day of the exam to go to your exam, and there's a little holding screen if you're slightly early, so I sat there and watched it count down from like an hour and a half to, to a minute, which was terrifying. Um, and then you click on a button and it takes you over to the your appropriate software that you need. And we use Pratique and the system itself is good. I don't have any qualms with it. It's not really confusing to use. Um, it's pretty much laid out like the UK Cat or Medify if you've ever used or taken that exam. Very much like that. However, the one issue I did have and it was a problem on both days was if you have an MCQ question and it's longer than about four words, you can't see it all at once when it's like you've got your screen maximised as like a full screen like this. And on day one, I was having to click through every single MCQ option to read the entire thing and then have to remember it. And it got so annoying and I need chucked my laptop out the window. And on the second day, we were told that you have to toggle the screen. So in addition to taking my exam and trying to remember something from the back of my head, I was then also having to play around with the Google window to see my options. So that's the only qualm I have with it is it's really not good for that. And you can't toggle the bars that are like in the screen as well, because ideally I would have toggled the answer bar over and had the question column a bit shorter. But you couldn't do that. And that was a nightmare. So that's the only kind of real negative thing I had. Taking the exam itself was a bit weird. And I... Given the option if I was to do it at home or in person, I'd pick in person because 
you're a lot more control over it and you're not going to have technical issues with a bit of paper like we all know how a bit of paper works there's also that atmosphere and I was talking to one of my friends about this day and you miss the atmosphere the like the slight adrenaline rush you get when you walk into that exam hall and when you're sitting at a desk that you've been sitting at for months in a room that well I I live here this is my kitchen as well like through that door is my bedroom it's (laughs) it's very hard to get that adrenaline rush in a place that you're meant to feel comfortable in although I also have a lone venue um so I'm in a different place than most other people there's still that adrenaline rush and it was something that you don't get so unless you can take your online exam in a place that you're not ultimately familiar with every day you do miss that another thing I missed and this is a bit of a mix of online exam taking and lockdown was a debrief afterwards and this isn't where everyone goes through every one question and I try and figure out what was right it's that simple solidarity afterwards so our first paper was yeah um (laughs) and I was really panicky because I was like oh my god am I the only person to think this and only when you come out of the exam, within the first 30 seconds, you kind of get a gauge about what everyone thought. But with this, because we couldn't go and meet anyone, it was an hour in Facebook Messenger, like rapidly typing between about six different conversations about what everyone thought. And then everyone was kind of trying to collate data from everywhere to see if everyone thought kind of the same things. Um, I can gauge that there was generally a split down the year group as to which paper you found hardest. But I miss that and part of that is a bit of stress relief because you kind of get that anger out over questions that you thought were a bit unreasonable um and then we also didn't get that release after the two exams were over we didn't get to go to the pub we didn't get to meet up and just rant and like really get that energy out so I think it's left a lot of people just sitting on nervous energy waiting for results to come through which is terrifying um I had alcohol in Nando's and watched TV, so I'm fine-ish, but yeah. <laughs> so online exams overall, they're okay. They would do as a gap filler, but the thing is it relies a lot on trust. And I have a lot of things I can say about this and I don't want to go too far into the cheating spiral and everything. And I know it was a, it was a real concern of our year group, but in the end, we are trained to be doctors who are going to have patients lives maybe one day but not as an f1 (laughs) in our hands how can we be trusted to prescribe medications for a vulnerable patient or to be in charge of a patient who's vulnerable and needs our help when we can't even be trusted to sit an exam properly on our own and in the end that's the reason i came up with was why shouldn't you cheat on an exam you could cheat in because you should like you should be trustworthy to have that reputation on your shoulders at the end of the day um yeah that's all I'm gonna say because I could really go down a ranty spiral um but yeah it was okay I wouldn't choose it again but as long as you if there's a question you need to ask you need to ask it and there is a lot of support available with Proctor they have a human on the other end of the screen that's available to chat to you within seconds so that's really good it's just you've got to make sure that you're in the right mindset in the day and it's a lot more about personal preparation than it is about getting to the venue etc so that's kind of my summary of online exams um as i say it's a very individualized experience and the companies that and the institutions that run it differ So what I had for Warwick was vastly different than what went on with the UK FPO. Again, I'm not going to go too much into that, but I know there's a lot of problems. And I think the UK FPO owe the final years an explanation or an apology or something. Um, I am going to wrap this video up now. I've attempted three times to wrap this video up. You can tell I've not made one in a long time. So I'd say they're okay. But if you can, try and do it at the venue. We get our results what we today or the uh 29th today so our exams come out our results come out on the 5th of february at two o'clock in the afternoon who does that that's like no <laughs> i booked a shift in in the morning because i know i'm gonna be a nightmare um but yeah online exams not a thing i repeat but not the end of the world 
summarise there. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope it hasn't been too rambly. Uh, you can find all my social media down below because I fancy new graphics now. Um, uh, please make sure to check it out. I am currently updating the blog with the end of phase two because I just lost the will to do anything at the end of phase two. Um, so it has all my experiences with medicine block, surgery block and specialties block um, coming up. And also go and check out the Instagram because that is something I keep up with. And I'm also very chatty on Twitter. So go and find me there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.